imagine someone went into one of these old amazing studios with lots of vintage gear and just ripped a channel strip out of a leaf pulled and shoved it into a bass pedal. That would obviously be cruel and wrong. But what you actually can do is of course go to these studios, just look at these units, maybe take some notes and then try to recreate them with all their parts and all their goodness. And out comes this. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Gregor Fries and today I'm accompanied by my friend Frank It on Bass. And here we have it, the BP-1 Bass Preamp from Caveman. This is based on the legendary 1073 Preamp by Neve, which is one of the most important studio tools for bass. With this video we're entering into the world of high-end audio things and I can only recommend to uh, watch this in an adequate listening environment with decent headphones or decent speakers and uh, possibly a cup of tea and your credit card on standby. This video is all about sound details and about these little audio nuggets that make preamps like this great. By the way, Caveman is giving away one of those to one of you actually, so uh, watch this video to the end to find out where and how and why to participate. Now I really want you to pay attention. Um, Frank is going to play a short little piece on my Sandberg California. Um, if you are a subscriber to this channel, you have heard this bass a thousand times before, so you really know what it sounds like. And now really pay attention what this preamp does with it. Let's go. Stunning, right? It's crisp and clear, but not harsh. And my main comment, as with all 1073 preamps, would be interesting bits. And now let's try this again with an active bass. And for that, we're using Frank's Yamaha BBN5. <laughs> Amazing what's going on there in the top end. And now let's check the pedal. The BP-1 is big and heavy, but it's no surprise. Preamps like this come with huge components that you would never find in the normal bass pedal. We have two foot switches. The left one mutes your signal and the right one engages an effects loop. But the two most important players up here are the controls, gain and level. What's cool with these, depending on where you're setting the gain with a corresponding level, you can get different amounts of saturation and clarity. Let's try that out. On the back of the pedal we have our bass input, for some reason called cable IP. Then we have our XLR input which is for wireless system. This is called radio IP. Then follows an XLR DI out, loop send and return, an amp out, a tuner out, 9 volt out for other pedals and your mains in. Whew, there are so many things. That means you can control your entire pedal board with the BP-1, which is a nice touch, especially the 9 volt out. What's also a nice touch is clicking the like buttons under this video. And I hear it's an even nicer touch if you're also subscribed to this channel. I mean, you're already here, it's free, just try it out. By the way, there's also a version without the XLR, which is a hundred bucks cheaper, so good to know. And now let's have some fun. This is my BAE 1073 DMP, which is the state of the art when it comes to Neve based bass preamps. Um, 1073, 1073, how do they compare? Let's find out. <laughs>
they're very close, but they're not identical. Uh, sometimes I think one of them is a bit brighter than I think the other one has a bit more mids, but just a few moments later the results seem reversed and I just can't tell them apart anymore. There's a difference, but it's just a very tiny one. So the result is both of them really good. I'm always using my BAE preamp in combination with this Ready Tube DI because they just sound amazing together. They go on two separate channels and get blended together later. And now let's hear what the BP1 sounds in combination with the Ready. <laughs> Wow, what a dream team. And if you're just falling in love with the BP1, congratulations and uh, just embrace the Studio Gear Acquirement Syndrome. It's the only way. However, you might be surprised to find out that this one costs quite a bit more than an average bass pedal. And that's simply because it's not a bass pedal. I mean, it's literally a bass pedal, but it's also a studio tool thing and studio tools are so much more expensive. And that's because the things that are in here just perform on a completely different level. Uh, just one word, output transformer. These are two words, but however, it's a thing. Google it. By the way, this pedal also offers the rare opportunity to be able to play a studio high-end preamp into a bass amp actually, because on the amp out here there's all the 1073 preamp goodness, as is on the XLR diode. And this is an interesting experience. Uh, with my Glockenklang, which is a super clean amp, this combination, I, I've never heard something as clean. I would call it hyper clean. Hyper clean is a good word. And that's it, the BP-1 bass preamp from Caveman Audio by Skurstrup, I hope I pronounced this right, from Denmark. Um, obviously not everyone's first choice when it comes to price range, but if you're looking for an amazing studio grade preamp that you can bring to every gig, to every session, to every recording desk, to every rehearsal or bedroom, I mean, that's it, I guess. <laughs> To win one of these, all you have to do is to sign up for the Caveman newsletter. Yeah, it's that simple. There's a link in the video description below, uh, which leads you to the Caveman website. Just sign up there. There will be a few information, how long this contest is running and these sort of things. So uh, when these information are gone, obviously the giveaway is gone. So um, that's it. Good luck. Uh, I'm keeping this. This is an amazing preamp and also the 1073 versus 1073 a war is not over yet uh, this is this is interesting so uh, good luck to you thanks for watching uh, buy our merch subscribe like this video do all the good things in the world and see you next time bye bye <laughs>